Jim, we've exited the FA Trophy tonight. Can I just get your thoughts on the, the game? Yeah. Um, disappointed to go out of the trophy tonight. Um, disappointed with the results, of course, especially when we wanted to try and um, offer some debuts tonight to, to some of our players. And you're hoping for um, a nice feeling for them, uh, a nice tone to the game. Um, against what I did know to be fair was uh, I, I said in my previous post match when we played Gator that I feel like they're the best team in our division um, regardless of uh, where they are on the table if they're not first uh, to me it doesn't mean they're not the best team um, I think they uh, expose teams more than any other team in, in the division I think they give you the, the biggest physical examination of all your players on the pitch because um, Similar to you know the way we like to try and play ourselves, um, having options all over the pitch to try and hurt a team. I think Gate said I've got that, and I think in the main, I think tonight um, kind of showed how we certainly can't compete in more than one competition um, from a squad perspective. Uh, I feel like. We have just enough to compete in the league, and I think looking at the two sides tonight, and I had a good chat with their manager before the game. Um, we're in very different situa situations. I think they're three years deep into the project they're in, and you know they have a, a 25 man squad. They have of, of real depth and understanding. Um, when when guys leave the team and guys come in, it, it looks very much the same. I think, you know, in in moments tonight, I think you can certainly see, you know, if we if we rest a couple of the main players as we need to, um, we, we we try and move things around a little bit. I think against the best teams um, in our league, uh, we can get exposed. And I think, unfortunately, tonight, um, yeah, that was shown. You missing Devante Rodney tonight, obviously started the last game uh, at Brodlin, not in the squad tonight. What's the, um, the situation with him? Uh, unfortunately, Greg, he's pulled his hamstring. He pulled his hamstring in training, um, which uh, was a blow um, and a shame for Dev, having just got back. And uh, yeah, what's a shame for him is also a shame for the team uh, because it leaves us incredibly light in, in that area now with. Um, Ian Henderson as our only striker now the club fit um, Kyle out and, and Dev um, going to be out for quite a length of time now with um, with the rupture to his hamstring we're still waiting for news on that to see um, what will need to be done with that um, we're hoping for the best but we know that it will be a significant amount of time out and um, yeah it, it, it just further surmises the depletion of our squad at the moment. You named three scholars on the bench to, to kind of make up the that, that seven man bench tonight. Two of them came on and I guess it's you know, despite the results it's nice to, to give them two debuts and also to, to Brad Kelly as well making his debut for the club. I'm really glad for the young guys. It's, it's a shame um the result finished the way it finished and you know I I just said to the team there, um the best teams um, continue to treat every single minute and every single moment into the latter stages of a game with critical importance and I felt like we got punished for coasting home um, was there possibly a feel from some of the team that we're bringing young players on so that means um, we're not taking the game seriously anymore if you don't take the game seriously against Gator um, for the last five minutes they score two goals so the difference in feel losing 3-1 having just scored a penalty, having just got young guys on the pitch, to then losing two goals in injury time and it being 5-1. It's a massive difference in feel. And I think we owe it to the young players to come in. Uh, we owe it to Brad making his debut, who you know, was devastated to be fair because I think he played well. I think he'd I think he, he done his part for the team, he made some great saves. Um, he played well with the ball. And I felt for him tonight. Uh, but, yeah, it's... Greg, it's what we want to do. Um, I know I, I could quite easily um, have a bench of just pros uh, and not name the young guys like in the, in the thinking that 
they're not quite ready yet and truthfully are they quite ready maybe not to be exposed to national league football right now no, i probably think they're not um they're promising young players and they deserve their place on the bench tonight through uh, them giving their all in training and through them being the most promising within their group uh, at this stage in those positions but being a promising young player being ready for men's football against national league teams is is chalk and cheese um, but you know with the alignment that I'm looking to get here with the youth team with the first team and bringing that all together which we spoke about in depth a number of times Greg um, I thought it was important to to put those guys on the bench tonight um, I think without them we would have had a bench of four um, with one of them being a goalkeeper and three outfield options it's, it's truthfully too short um, certainly to compete in, in two trophies and yeah I never thought we could go deep in anything other than the league and I think um, it's critical that we we protect the players tonight and we didn't protect as many as I would like to and I'm being honest we had to still expose some and I would have been devastated here tonight I'll be honest with you Greg if we'd have lost a couple more players in, in the trophy um, because I know that could decimate us in the league and that's the situation that's the situation we're in um, in the main and you know zoom out this is just one game zoom out here um, I, I wish the game would have went better for the, the young lads who made their debuts I do uh, I think they won't get a, a more difficult physical examination than they do against Gateshead uh, in, outside of the league um, but if we zoom out I think the group um, I've been handling the challenge really well really respectfully um, with, with, with where we're at and did I feel we could we could go beyond um, the early stages in, in any competition outside the league this year? No, I didn't. And it's just a bonus to me, to be honest, that uh, none of my players got injured tonight because we can't really afford it. It is back to, to league action on, on Saturday, last home game before Christmas when York come. Can I just kind of get your early thoughts ahead of that game? Optimistic, Greg. We can win. It's another game we can win. Um, I go into every game in the league thinking we can win. You know, we formulated a plan to win that game. Um, the same factors that we just discussed there um, are there. Um, we've got to try and figure out a way to find solutions within um, to, to move our players round and still try to provide threat and protection at the same time. But um, I think it's. I genuinely think it's a game we can win. I'm looking forward to it. Um, be great to have another Saturday go home game here um, for us to, you know, try and attain another victory in the league.